ESPN. Oh my god, this is actually really funny up to the point where it actually is kind of utterly ridiculous in my opinion. ESPN just hired Jeff Triplett to be in a rules analyst for ESPN. So, if you know any, if you know about Triplett's history, you know exactly, you know exactly what I'm talking about and how I think this is flat out insane. However, if you, if you don't, if you're unfamiliar with his history, I'll give you a quick little resume. So, the, the notoriety of Jeff Triplett started back in, I want to say, 1999. I might have that year wrong, but it was around there. So, what happened was that uh, Jeff Triplett uh, kind of erratically threw a flag and it hit the eye of the late Orlando Brown Sr. For, uh, of the uh, Baltimore Ravens. That later led to the NFL uh, getting sued by the Fort Moore offensive tackle. So, obviously, that doesn't really have much uh, connection with, like, uh, kind of, like, Jeff Triplett's, like, play calling and, like, what's, like, good calls and bad calls, but I'm about to get there right now. So, throughout uh, Jeff Triplett's career, he's been absolutely bombarded by guys like Dean Blandino and Mike Pereira over a bunch of ridiculous calls and decisions he's made on the playing field. But some of the most uh, egregious ones were actually as of kind of recent. So, uh, 2013, New York Giants, Washington Redskins. He, he gives the Redskins a first down after a reception. Then one play later uh, ensues. But then after that play, it's a third and one after a first and ten. And the reason why is because on the second and, and short where uh, the he gave the Redskins a first down. After that first and ten, he decided to come, he, just, he just completely changed his mind about his call and put it back to third and one, reversing his own decision. Let that sink in. And then one week later, he makes, in my opinion, is one of the worst calls in NFL history. And I mean it. It's up there with, like, the fail Mary, but I think it's just kind of less known because it wasn't really as televised and it didn't come at, like, crucial or critical uh, game t- uh, time in the game. But anyway, it was literally one week later after this giants wrestling match, and I'm, what I'm referring to is Bengals Colts with Ben Jarvis Green Ellis and his touchdown. Now, clearly this was not a touchdown if you watch uh, the replays of it. and then, But then, uh, like a day after when Triplett addresses it, he literally says, I, I am sorry, but I was, when, I was re- when I was reviewing the replay, I did not look at the backfield to see if he was touched. I was just looking to see if the ball was crossing the goal line. Really? Really? You were just watching to see the ball cross the goal line regardless of any contact? Now, if you don't remember any of this, I'm just gonna, you might remember this specific game. Titans and Chiefs in the wild card. And you probably remember all the shenanigans and ridiculous calls that were in that specific game. Not, not trying to say that made the tit- that was the reason why the Titans won, but just the fact that it was kind of really, really sloppy on both sides of the ball. And that, not, as a matter of fact, that also that also led to Prayer criticizing him and what we all thought was the reason why he was retiring. But and now we have Jeff Triplett essentially getting a promotion as if like ESPN. It almost to me it feels like ESPN is just hiring random officials that, and they're just giving them promotions just because they're retiring. Like, come on. Are you are you seriously gonna do this just because there was a ref? Oh, okay, so if you're watching this. Remember Jeff Triplin in this video when you watch the 2018 NFL season because I'm kind of look, I'm sort of anticipating some more crazy stuff when he tries to explain some of those really close calls that are going to be televised in the ESPN games. So let's let's all look forward to some fun Monday Night Football games for the 2018 season. All right, I'm out.